Hello, everyone. It's Miss Rachel from the Antioch Public Library District, and I'm here for today's amazing animal story time with my friend, Henry the Hedgehog. Oh, dear. I think my friend is feeling a little bit shy. Let's start with our hedgehog jokes to see if we can make him feel a little bit better. What's a hedgehog's favorite cartoon? Pokemon. What's a hedgehog's favorite fruit? A spine apple. Why do hedgehogs make bad clowns? They pop all the balloons. Oh, I think Henry's feeling a little bit better. Henry, will you sing our first song with us? No? Will you at least help us with the movements? All happy, right. Happy, happy, happy hedgehog sniffling the ground. Prickly, tickly, spiky hedgehog, see him running round. Please be quiet, not a sound. Remember this because if he hears the littlest sound, this is what he does. Roll, roll. Roll into a ball, roll, roll, until you're very small. Roll, roll, till we can't see you at all. Roll into a prickly, tickly hedgehog ball. What did you think, Henry? Yay! Awesome! Let's read our first story. Henry and I will be reading... A Little Bit of Winter by Paul Stewart Pictures by Chris Rydell Winter was coming. I'll miss you, said Rabbit. Will you miss me? No, said Hedgehog. I'll miss you, said Rabbit. I know, said Hed Hedgehog. You just told me. You are so forgetful, said Hedgehog. Forgetful, said Rabbit. Yes, said Hedgehog. I already told you why I won't miss you. Remind me, said Rabbit. I will be asleep, said Hedgehog. You don't miss your friends while you're asleep. Hedgehog picked up a little sharp stone and walked to the tree. Rabbit, he said, there's something I want you to do for me. Rabbit ate a little green grass and then a dandelion leaf and then some clover. Hedgehog wrote a message on the bark. It says, Dear Rabbit, Please save me a little bit of winter for when I wake up. Love, Hedgehog. I've written it down so you won't forget, said Hedgehog. Please save me a little bit of winter. But why, said Rabbit, because I want to know what winter feels like. Winter is hard and white, said Rabbit. Winter is cold. But what is cold, said Hedgehog. I'm cold now, cold and sleepy, he yawned. Rabbit prodded his friend. Ouch, he cried. Rabbit, said Hedgehog, it's time for me to find somewhere warm to spend the winter. Rabbit sucked his paw. I'll miss you, he said. Winter was bad that year. Snow fell. The lake turned to ice. Rabbit was warm in his burrow. 
but he was also hungry. That's the trouble with winter, said Rabbit, as he hopped outside. The colder it is, the more food I want. And the colder it is, the less food I find. There was no green grass. There was no pink clover. Rabbit had to make do with brown. Brown leaves. Brown bark. A brown acorn. Hey, where did he get that tree bark? Rabbit looked at the tree where Hedgehog had written his message. He dropped his acorn in surprise. The acorn rolled. It gathered snow. It turned into a small snowball. Rabbit read the message. Oh dear, he said. A little bit of what? The wind blew, icy cold. Rabbit looked down at the snowball and remembered. A little bit of winter, he said. Rabbit rolled the snowball over the snow. It grew bigger and bigger. Rabbit wrapped the snowball in leaves. This will keep the warm out. They will keep the cold in, said Rabbit. Then I'll store it underground. Spring finally came. The sun shone. The snow melted and the lake turned back to water. Hedgehog woke up. Hedgehog, said Rabbit. Rabbit, said Hedgehog. Look how excited they are to see each other. Oh, Rabbit, said Hedgehog. You have eaten winter. No, said Rabbit. I ate the bark, but I saved winter. It's in my burrow. I'll go get it. Hedgehog poked at the soft, brown ball. You told me that winter was hard and white, he said. And cold, he said. Just wait, said Rabbit. He pulled off the leaves one by one. Hedgehog stared at the snowball. It looked like winter. Hedgehog sniffed the snowball. It smelled like winter. Hedgehog grasped the snowball in his paws. Ouch! he cried. It bit me! That, said Rabbit, is what winter feels like. Thank you for remembering, said Hedgehog. I remembered because I missed you, said Rabbit. Did you miss me? Hedgehog sighed. Oh, Rabbit, he said. The end. How about another song, Henry? Yay! Four little hedgehogs. Cute as can be. One rolled away, and then there were three. Three little hedgehogs, what could they do? One found some bugs to eat, and then there were two. Two little hedgehogs, too tired to have fun. One dozed off, and then there was one. One lonely hedgehog wiggling his snout. Where are my friends? He began to pout. Here we are. And don't you worry. Let's all go outside. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And they're all in such a hurry that they're falling off my flannel board. Henry, what should we do next? The song! 
excellent choice. I'm going to have to put you down for this one because I need both hands. Is that okay? Great. You can join us for the story after we finish our song. Hedgehog is very prickly. A hedgehog is very prickly. A hedgehog is very prickly. It couldn't be anything else. A fish is very slippery. A fish is very slippery. A fish is very slippery. It couldn't be anything else. A crocodile's very snappy. A crocodile's very snappy. A crocodile's very snappy. It couldn't be anything else. A crab is very nippy. A crab is very nippy. A crab is very nippy. It couldn't be anything else. A snake is very hissy. A snake is very hissy. A snake is very hissy. It couldn't be anything else. A worm is very wriggly. A worm is very wriggly. A worm is very wriggly. It couldn't be anything else. All right, let's read our next story. It's called Hedgehugs by Steve Wilson and Lucy Trapper. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to search for four leaf clovers in the meadow. They like to make daisy chains in the shade of the old oak tree. They like to splash in puddles on the lawn. And sometimes they like to have a tea party by the river. When Horace is busy, Hattie puts on her tutu, and dances in the bluebells. When Hattie is busy, Horace searches for spiders in the woods. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends, but there is one thing they cannot do together. They cannot hug. They are just too spiky. Oh, that makes Henry sad. They have tried lots of ways to hug. In the winter, they rolled in the snow until it covered all their quills. But the hug was too cold. In the spring, they found some old, hollow logs. Horace and Hattie squeezed inside, but the hug was too bumpy. In the summer, they stuck strawberries on their spike, but the hug was too sticky. Ugh. Then, one day, they found something very interesting. Do you see that little sock they found? What do you think the hedgehogs are going to do with that? It was soft. Was it a hat? Horace decided to investigate. He wriggled and jiggled and nibbled. Then out he popped.
Hattie thought Horace looked very funny. <laughs> then she had an idea. Hattie looked at Horace. Horace looked at Hattie. They moved closer and closer and closer until what do you think will happen next? They hugged. The hug was just right. Not cold. Not scratchy. Not sticky. Not bumpy. It was warm and soft and cuddly and comfy. A perfect hedgehog. So the next time you see someone wearing mismatched socks, or if one of your socks goes missing, you know what that means. A hedgehog has happened. Look at all those hedgehogs in all those socks. The end. Wonderful work, Henry. Let's move on to our hedgehog facts. Yay! Henry, what's our first hedgehog fact? Number one, hedgehogs are nocturnal. That means they sleep at night. Mm. Number two, hedgehogs eat many things, including fruit, yum, yum, vegetables, nuts, seeds, insects, mm, and snakes. Yummy! Number three, each hedgehog has between 5,000 and 7,000 spines on their back. Oh, why? Is that a lot? Number four, it's very rare that you'll see multiple hedgehogs in one place. But if you do, a group of hedgehogs is called an array. Hooray! Hooray! Number five, a baby hedgehog is called a hoglet. Henry, will you show everyone our craft for this week? This is what you can make if you use your kit and put all the pieces together. Careful, Henry, we don't want to drop it. Silly goose. Nice work holding up the hedgehog craft. Now it's time to sing our goodbye song. Wave up high. Wave down low. Wave with your elbow. Wave with your toes. Wave with your tongue. And wave with your nose. Wave with your knees. Wave with your lips. Let's all wiggle our fingertips. Wave with your ears. Wave with your hair. Wave with your belly. And grab your gear. Wave with your chin. And blink your eyes. Now wave with your hand. And say... Goodbye.